Welcome back to another dividend ETF review video. Today we're looking at Pacer ETF COWS, the Pacer US Cash COWS 100 ETF, COWZ. Today's March 23rd, 2024. Let's begin. The fund objective is a strategy driven exchange traded fund that aims to provide capital appreciation over time by screening the Russell 1000 for top 100 companies based on free cash flow yield. The Cash COWS Index Strategy. Free cash flow is the cash remaining after a company has paid expenses, interest, taxes, and long-term investments. It can be used to buy back stock, pay dividends, or participate in mergers and acquisitions. The ability to generate a high free cash flow yield indicates a company is producing more cash than it needs to run the business and invest in growth opportunities. Some key facts, COWS has been around since December 16, 2016, currently has about 20.5% um, billion dollars under management. Morningstar has this at a five overall star rating. Uh, holdings underlying is 103 holdings. Asset allocation sits at 99.74% in equities. It does not derive income from derivatives. It is not actively managed. It is not a leveraged or inverse ETF. Key statistics, it has an expense ratio of a low 0.49%. PDE to ratio at 8.96%. COWS distributes dividends quarterly, and its last distribution was $0.29 cents per share. Its current share price is $56.18. The fund has a 90% portfolio turnover with a, a trailing 12-month distribution of 1.85%. It is a 30-day distribution yield of 2.03%, and a year-to-date 2024 total return of 3.79%, a one-year total return of 14.75%, and in, since inception, lifetime total return of 13.28%. The management team is uh, currently, they have 10 years between them. There are two of them, and they are under the Pacer Advisors, Inc. Top 10 holdings. This index tracks the proprietary Pacer U.S. Cash Cows Russell 1000 index. It's number one holding Qualcomm at 2.33%. It's number two holding Valero Energy Corp at 2.26%, followed by AbV Inc. at 2.26%. Next, Marathon Petroleum Corp. at 2.24%. Phillips 66 at 2.13%. Lennar Corp. Class A, 2.08%. DR Horton Inc. at 2.05% followed by CVS Health, Health Corp at 1.99%, Bookings Holding Inc. at 1.99%, and lastly, Sencora Inc. at 1.98%. The sector allocation or sector exposure is roughly 27.49% energy. Consumer discretionary follows at 21.33%. Healthcare is at 14.42%. Materials, 12.5%. Industrials 9.9%, Information Technology at 9.24%, Consumer Staples at 2.76%, Utilities at 1.59%, and lastly, Communication Services at 0.78%. The geographic footprint is 100% United States companies. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do not take any of this information as financial advice. This information is purely for entertainment and educational value only. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next dividend review video. Hi, I'd like to take a minute to share with you some of our affiliate partners. Charles Schwab, you can sign up through the link below uh, in the description or through this QR code. Uh, they are offering cash deposits when you make a deposit into a Charles Schwab account. We use Charles Schwab here on this platform uh, for the research that we provide. Fidelity has an amazing e-money partner link. Uh, you can combine all of your online accounts and it gives you a, a awesome experience. It's called uh, Fidelity Full View. Robinhood is an amazing mobile experience. Uh, it's got a fun app, easy to use. Uh, very awesome brokerage account. Uh, customer service is great. Thank you guys so much again. We hope we can help you out and see you guys in the next video.